I think the main thing that you're looking for as a lender is, you know, what is the alternative means that a company can gain access to financing? And then you're looking to understand the stability and certainty associated with the capacity to generate cash flows to service and repay the debt. So at the end of it, you're not looking for companies that are you know, going to have massive upside in terms of equity value if they've got uncertain or volatile cash flows. So certain consistent you know, cash flows that are not volatile, business models that are well diversified, management teams that are credible, um, and a capital structure that means that you're not then also exposed to volatility around the asset price. So from a lender's perspective, the two things you always look at is the capacity to generate cash flows to service and repay your debt. And then the second thing you're looking at is what's the confidence that I've got that under distressed or stress conditions, we as a lender can still get our money back. Uh, equity might lose money, but we as a lender have got our money back. So the two things, debt service and exit scenarios, are very important to monitor in terms of you know, making an acceptable loan transaction. Well, equities, it's where you sit in the capital structure. So as a, as a, as a lender, uh, you're lending at the lowest risk part of the capital structure. So if you think about a capital structure, you'll have senior, senior debt, subordinated or mezzanine debt, and then equity. Equity is the position that represents the risk of first loss to the company. So if you get a period where you've got volatility in valuations, uh, that volatility should be worn by equity. Um, so if you, if you think about it in the context that, say, a property is worth $100 million and you've lent 50, the, the value of the property can fall by $50 million before you as a lender have been exposed to the risk of capital loss. That loss of the first $50 million is absorbed by equity. And so from a, from a lender's perspective or from a debt versus equity perspective, you've got protections that are afforded to you. It's a contractual obligation. So when you enter into a loan, the company is contractually obligated to pay and service and repay the debt. And so for you as a lender, you have terms and conditions that can determine how that company performs and you've got rights and ability to control aspects of the business's operations to ensure that your interests are protected. So for example, a company as a, as a lender, you can determine whether or not the company can pay a dividend to shareholders. If the company is not generating sufficient cash, you as a lender might restrict a dividend. You can restrict the company's ability to make acquisitions or the company's ability to dispose of assets and not use those proceeds to repay debt. If a company sells an asset, generally it's a, for the source of repayment of debt and, the, and a lender you can control that through appropriate terms, conditions, covenants that that control those aspects and then obviously you're in a secured position. So as a lender you've got the highest ranking position in terms of the risk of the company. The greatest level of risk is actually borne by equity and shareholders. When we lend I guess one of the skills that you have as a as a lender and, and, and private debt is very much not about um, it's not a traded market. You're not buying and selling debt over an exchange. And so when, when I sit down to negotiate a transaction with a company, we're seeking to understand you know, what is the capacity of the company to generate cash flows and, and service and repay the debt? What's the risk associated with the transaction? How can we structure the terms and conditions to assist the company to grow? Provided that we're comfortable with the risk is acceptable, then it's a negotiation about what's the appropriate pricing for that risk. And so as a lender, what you're seeking to do is to ensure that our investors are properly rewarded for the risk that we take. So as you, when you structure and negotiate a transaction with a company, you're setting the terms, conditions and pricing. But equally, if, if you believe that the capital that we're providing to that company is scarce, it's valuable, it's unique, you know, they, they may not have access to a lot of debt capacity or whatever. So you might, as a lender, say, OK, well, we'll provide the debt to you. But we're going to do that on the basis that we also participate in some upside capital gains. So we might negotiate to take equity in the company or we might take options or warrants over the equity. We might enter into a profit share. So there are a whole range of ways in which you can do that so that investors in our funds might be rewarded for the debt that's provided, so interest and fees that are provided on the loan. But equally, if the company is successful and it performs, then you might actually also provide investors with participation in upside capital gains through those instruments of equities or warrants or options. 
Yeah, look, we, we've taken, we've been a lender and taken equity interest in a number of companies that we lend to. And that's a feature of um, certain strategies we operate. Not all of our funds are, are, are permitted or mandated to do that. Our core of our, the core of our business is to lend money. But equally, we see more and more opportunities where our clients are coming to us, asking us to participate in the growth of their business. And often, the growth capital that's required isn't necessarily debt financing. It's, it's, it's at a point in the capital structure where it's really an equity type risk. And so we might provide the debt, but if we're providing debt that uh, is perhaps higher yielding or providing that access to growth opportunities for the shareholders, then we, we want to capture that. And, uh, and so we have done that on a number of occasions and we actually have, through one of our funds, a dedicated strategy focused on providing investors with not only a return from the debt part of the capital structure, but also participation in, in equity upside.